South Korea. <laughs> Creeping on in straight from South Korea. Once again, it's Greg Lemons. <laughs> Riding high. Taking Vespas down the highway. <coughs> Let's see. Today's, today's topic is... Uh, <coughs> So I kind of gotta hang out with you for a minute. So if you you know if you don't need that, I'll I'll roll that up. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll do that. <laughs> you do your thing. We'll keep that right here, ready. It's fucking good. It's like real. It doesn't have that sheen of the garlic butter you have to put in the oven mm -hmm. to do. You know what I mean? Like it. It tastes like they actually infused the garlic butter into the bread. Is what it feels. It's like. That's like the, this would be like the Ark of the Covenant of garlic bags. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you wearing the right hat for yeah. it. I am the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> Every day it's the same goddamn thing. Uh, you're the new Pope. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were at work. Tell like with our fridge, I pull everything up to the front, so when I open it, it looks like we're okay. Because I can't do nothing about it. Pot. We don't know. It's Bernie Madoff. Oh, uh, yeah. Um. You know what 22 shells have gone up to? Oh, yeah, they're crazy. Yeah. What the fuck? Dude? Yeah, right. Everything. He said, he told Bob and I, he's like, if if you two guys, you need something, a box of something, and it's not on the shelf, just, I'll get you a box, I'll get you a box or two downstairs. Right. He's like, I'm holding some stuff just for that reason. Yeah. You know, but if you're out of state or you can't answer the where did you go to school question. Right. You know, if, you're, if your sister can date somebody <laughs> that worked at the toothpick factory, then you know you can't get a box of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I got five on it. Barry is Obama's real name, and they just acted like they didn't know. Yeah, they don't. I was like, and the Pope, the, our new Pope, has got kidnapping charges against him, and they laughed at me. Remember this? Chinese indoctrination. To the point we didn't know what the fuck was going on, it would be junk mode. You know, what's wrong? I'm in junk mode. <laughs> Falling through tables and shit. It's when you're so gone that you can't function correctly. It's junk mode. He's in junk mode. Mr. Dead knows what he's doing. He's in junk mode. Mr. Dead knows what he's doing. So he's in just junk like, mode. Just don't worry, officer. The officer's like, don't worry about what? <laughs> We're in junk mode. <laughs> that cop probably got hard. He was like, I'm busting somebody tonight. <laughs> yeah. Everybody sit, sit on, on the, the curb. Word. Sit yeah. on the fucking word. Sit on the curb. I'm going through the car. I don't care. <laughs> if you know you have rights, I'm going through your fucking car. <laughs> Times like that when you put grape drink in a plastic bag, <laughs> wrap it up tight, and then resist arrest horribly. Be like, I'm not fucking going back. You ain't taking me down. I don't give a fuck because it gets him excited. They're like, he's got something. We got him. Throw a flaming throw, bag. Throw a fit in the cups and shit. I'm not going back. What do you mean you're not going back? What are you throw throwing? Throw in the fit. Yeah. And then try to run. Yeah. You get to court. They're like, they're gonna, they're gonna you had a bag of grape, uh, grape fucking drink powder. And he was, our subject, Mr. And he told us it's not illegal. That's what the statement says. He held up a bag of great purple powder and said it's not illegal. And proceeded to run. Yeah. <laughs> Greg Lemons. <laughs> Marijuana. <laughs> Marijuana. The video has never been easier. That tobacco tastes a little different. The cigars. I like the I like the, the uh, Garcia Vega cigars. They don't. They ain't playing chess. They're just on drugs. They probably rented that building. Oh yeah, that's my people. I smoked the garlic bread. This is that's actually rolled up with garlic bread. Yeah. Straight up. We rolled up. Yeah, I pass that. I'm Greg Lemons. I got five on it.
China is building a Stargate. Five crew don't pack no bowls. Five crew gets smoked up. Whole smoke PBR Street Gang. PBR Street Gang was developed in the early 70s as a way to deal with the progressive issue of shoe elves. The jungle based shoe elf. Uh, Cambodian ones? Primarily the Cambodian ones, yeah. Because they, they were the ones that were giving us the most problem on the wire constantly. Charlie would roll into the camp and he would just be straight giving up. They'd give up. Like 20 of them walk. It would be not a common thing for 20 of them, 20 VC, to walk right into the camp and give themselves up. And we'd ask them why. And they, of course, they didn't, you know, spoke a little broken English. They write, they draw on paper pictures of shoe elves. <laughs> Christmas trees, elves. But the Christmas trees were coming out of the fucking ground. Elves had horns on their heads and there was like, they drew banjos. And then they wrote underneath the banjo, one of the guys drew like a, it looked like a, uh, a calendar. So, and I think what he was trying to say while bleeding out of all holes on his head, because he had been susceptible, uh, he had been subjected to like 48 hour banjo music and jug band. He just, he wrote the calendar and we kind of knew what was going on. And I left, I left after that because I had, I had some things that I had to take care of back home, people passing away and so on and so forth. Greg Lemons, PhD, and, uh, you know, eat an ashtray, uh, caffeine grants invisibility, remember that. The shoe elf blade is sharp, so... These cigars are pretty good. I like to smoke them till they're almost gone. As you can tell. As you can tell, I'm a good hunk of garlic bread. What? What? Ha! Ninja! We come to the segment in the show. Greg Lemons, PhD. We're going to be taking some phone calls here. Uh, the number is, uh, 207-773. Call number one. <laughs> You're on the air. It's dialing for dollars. This is Geritol speaking. Go forth. <laughs> Do not drink craft beer. <laughs> hey, how you been doing? This is Greg Lemons, PhD. Once again, sipping some tonic. You see the arm up in the air like this signifies 40-ounce tilt method. Turn the label so that it can be seen. Pepsi. That's for Mr. Rayner. Yeah, Mr. Rayner, 009. You're the man, but I'm fucking Greg Lemons. Mr. Rayner, you wanted to know about the shoe elves, did you? Ha 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 Got my EDC, Everyday Carry. Ice pick. So let's smoke that knife. What's that knife you got right there? This knife right here is, uh, uh see that one? Yeah. Give her a close-up, because it's on close-up mode right now. It's an old Rowan blade from Rowan. What do they call that knife? They call this knife... Zula. The bullet ant. The bullet ant. Greg Lemon's PhD blade of choice. <laughs> knocking out, knocking over liquor stores, <laughs> hammering business down. Look at that. That's fresh. For all you ladies out there interested in the Greg Lemons, I'm married. I know you ain't interested, but that's cool too. You might be interested, if so. Get at me. <laughs> I can't say whose hat this is. All I can say is they told me I would never have this hat, and now I have this hat. <laughs> How did I get it? You may ask. You may ask. I will not answer. Look at how my face and jaw is fucked. 
slamming my head into hard concrete. Everyone has accidents. The hat of the repeat offender. Plus five dexterity. <laughs> I got a hat like Lo Pan from Big Trouble in Love China. Let's call some people up and aggravate them. This is a new segment of the show called Alderon. Hey. How you doing? Hey. How you doing, Mr. Trafficanti? Hey, pretty good, Mr. Trafficanti. Um, I'm doing, this is Greg Lemon's PhD, and we're doing a segment of on the Shoe Elves right now. And uh, oh. we'd like to know, you know, what do you think, what, Dr. Um, Jimmy, uh, what, what was your last name again? Uh, Trafficanti. Yes, James Trafficanti. We would... I want, I'm calling to get an opinion on what you think the threat of the shoe elf, how bad you think the threat of the shoe elf really is. You tell the people. Well, man, they took, they, uh, tore down my, my kebab stand. Uh, they took my shoes. Uh, they took my girlfriend's fanny pack right off her. Didn't even care. Ripped her belt. Uh, it's just running rampant. You know, telling the police they don't do nothing about it. You got to put cheese all over your clothes. It's fucking no good, man. No good. Well, I'd been, we had been doing a segment last time on, um, oh, wait. I don't want to be rude. Let me introduce Mr. James Trafficanti, Ph.D. Uh, he, 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 he practices medicine out in, uh, me, uh, brain medicine and chemistries out in Seattle, Washington. Um, he was also there on the front lines with me. Uh, during that time when I lost my arm, and uh, uh, hey, uh, it's been it's been a long time since I talked to you. Um, what do you think of the China building that giant shoe elf Stargate? Man, man that was just bad news, you know. Uh, Stargate opened up. The shoe elves were coming out everywhere. Chinese people deal with this shit all the time. Yeah, but they forget. It ain't like that in America. No, it ain't like that. No, it's not. It's uh, it's definitely not like that. They're racing around with hickory sticks as of right now. Um, I haven't heard very much from what's going on out there, and there's not. It's been pretty silent, but I think there's a lull right now. I think we may have we may have uh, peaked out and wiping out most of them. Uh, I know those guys out in Israel were having hard times finding hickory sticks. They had they had to be yeah. imported, I guess. Um, and how yeah. do you? Walmart, Walmart's all out of cheese. Yes, the cheese shortages also have uh, have been taken taken into account. What do you think the next move that they're going to make, Mr. Trafficanti? You know, an educated guess. Uh, shoe elves uh, working on a Stargate somewhere in Central Maine, and it's right under our noses, and it's going to hit us where it hurts. What kind of what kind of what kind of hurt do you think is in store? Economic, philosophical, spiritual. Gonna hit the food supply. Yep. Molding all the rice. Yep. Uh, shortage of New Balance. Shortage, yes. And that's gonna trigger probably terrible things in demeanor and people's you know people's uh what the morale of the group is gonna. Defic defecate um, Dan Dan Fielding what else do you think G give me some more input on the on, on the situation as it as it as it were I'd say check under your car every time you go to start it uh, check your fridge make sure you got the, the bacon soda in there yep cut down on the odors that'll yep. attract them yep uh, keep a good shine on your shoes Yep. They, they're attracted to the shoes that I maintained as well. Uh-huh. What do you have? Do you have any advice for the young people that may have to deal with shoe elf um, possession on a daily basis? Uh, just hang in there. Hang tough. Right on. Right on. Um, how do you feel about Elvis Presley music? Do you think that that defends... You know, keeps the fucking keeps them from getting into your brain. 
Yeah, it's disorient some, uh, keeps them off you for a little while. It's like mosquito spray, you know, it goes, it wears off after a while. Right on. Stop playing. Move on to the Johnny Cash. There was a 57 foot black dirigible that was dropping giant pieces of ham on Skowhegan as of late three o'clock this morning. Uh, the reports came. I'm reading the reports right now here on this food card. And it's telling oh, that's me terrible. That's terrible. it's telling me what the maintenance the prices on maintenance was to the economical differential. And there, apparently there have been rumors of people hearing sounds of ooh coming coming out of nowhere. A lot of times, and we can't tell what the fuck that is. We don't know if it's shoe elves. We don't know what it is. We haven't seen the culprit of the noise. Um, also, people that have been getting possessed lately, instead of the usual um, shoe elf type symptoms, they're they're starting to sing songs and shit and claim that they have the rhythm. Now, have you heard of this happening before? Oh, man, that's the first I've heard of it. I heard about the hand, and I was worried. Have you, what about the noise? Is the hoo? I say, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm at a real loss. Yep. What's left where you're at right now? Do you guys still have homes, or have you guys been forced to live in the tents? or? Yeah, we're, we're in a FEMA tent right now. Uh, I can't tell you where, but... Uh, because if we tell you over the phone that you have... Do they have black mold? What's that? Do they have black mold? Yeah, we got the black mold. Fiberglass mold. The canvas tent in weeks. It's miserable. Tobacco. What is the situation with the tobacco? Only Peruvians. Only strictly Peruvians? Mark Donatelli has been... I've heard that Mark Donatelli is somewhere in the front lines right now. Can you can you validate this? I can't tell you where, but Donatelli is uh, disposed at this time. Yep. And, uh, you know, suffice to say, he's doing what he can. Yep, doing what he can. All right, Mr. Trafficant. Um, I guess uh, that's good. That's good for right there. It's Dominic the Donkey. Chickity jig. We're going to fuck him with a stick in the back. Commercial.